This is obviously not the nicest car in my collection. Paint's a little beat up, chrome's a little wore out, license plate's bent, but if you look a little closer, it may be the most important car in my collection. If you check out the fuzzy dice and the tuck and roll dash, you'll realize that this is the original 1958 Chevrolet that was used in the movie American Graffiti. And that's really important to me because in 1973, when I was 15 years old, I walked back and forth to the theater probably a dozen times to watch this movie. And I was so inspired by this car that I dreamt about it. It was the ultimate hot rod. And probably about 15 years ago, when I started uh, to, to earn a little bit of money, I thought, I wonder what ever happened to that car and would it be possible to try and buy it. So I searched and searched and searched for it and, and found the man who owned it actually in Washington and, and there was a bunch of history in the car. He'd, be sh he'd been shown the car. And was, what was really cool is that he bought it from the Lucasfilm's auction in 1972 before the movie came out. And at that time, <laughs> I think he paid about 280, 300 bucks for it. Well, while we were shooting Americana a couple years ago, bumped into the car again because of course when I called the man the first time he didn't want to sell it. Years went by, I, I kind of had given up on, on finding it and we were shooting a, a little episode of Americana at movie cars, uh, Ray Claridge's movie cars last year and when I walked in there, there was the car and I couldn't believe it and Ray Claridge told me that it was going up for auction. It went up for auction several times, didn't meet its reserve and we negotiated back and forth and I just couldn't put out the price that they wanted for it, but finally after staying in touch with Ray Claridge and the owner of the vehicle, I was able to purchase it. And, and I can tell you that it's, a, it's an amazing car and it's an amazing part of my life. It represents a 40 year journey of someone as a young man on up to the things that I've uh, accomplished in my life. I can look at it and think of everything I've done since high school. So the goal is to be able to, to put this car back in the condition it was in the movie some 40 years ago. When Toe drove it, it had a 327 with six Strombergs and a four-speed transmission. It still has the chrome reverse wheels on it. It still has the original paint. It still has the original interior. Now, it's important that we try and save all those things, but yet we've got to fix it up. So we've got to make a, a, a plan to do that. This is one of those cars that uh, someday my children will have to figure out what to do with because as long as, uh, as long as I'm on the right side of the ground here, this car is going to always be close to me. One of the biggest challenges you face with a restoration or preservation of a vintage car that's got so much history is how do you make it look good again but keep its integrity? I guess it'd be like if you were charged with maintaining the roof and the Sistine Chapel, how do you kind of touch that up but yet make sure Michelangelo, his spirit is still there? Well, paint on this car is more than 40 years old. It's starting to break away. It's, it's damaged in spots. And this car really was identified by some of the signature custom red stripes on it. So we've got with our friends at Exalta and it's important to sit with them and get an idea of how we can do this, repaint this car, keep its integrity. Because you've got to remember, we can't use the same paint that they used. It's not even available anymore. A lot of the stuff they painted this car with, it's not even legal to paint with now with all the new rules. So our friends from Exalta are going to go through it with a step-by-step -step to try and make this car look as good as it did over 40 years ago when it was in the movie American Graffiti, yet keep its integrity. And really, really importantly, these incredible red custom stripes that we're not even really sure how they put those on there. Gonna to be tough to duplicate this car, but as I said, there's gotta be a process to be able to do it and keep its integrity. And you can see some of the cracks in the hood right now. This car sooner or later is gonna to have to be painted. So we're gonna to have to figure out how to do it. Same with the interior. I don't wanna change the interior in this car, so I wanna be able to take it apart, clean it, and care for the leather so that we can put it back together. I think it's pretty important to have the same seats that Candy Clark rolled around on. Click here to learn more about Exalta's products, and click here to follow us behind the scenes as we preserve a real piece of Americana graffiti.